Well, around the world, we're experiencing rapid urbanization. The world's population is set to double. The majority of those people will be living in cities. And at the same time, people in cities and around the world face a number of very substantial crises. In this city, 10,000 people die of air pollution every year. Rapid increases in non-communicable diseases, which are often related to living in urban environments. Communities becoming increasingly fragmented. People often linked more to technology than their neighbors. So what we desperately need in our urban areas is a positive vision of a better life. More growing, more plantings, more localism are actually the solutions. And we all have a part we can play in that. So over the last six years, we've had this campaign to make London the world's first national park city. If we were to be inspired by the thinking that has made our rural national parks better for people and wildlife, then maybe we can make our cities far better for people and wildlife as well. Our Universal Charter is our vision to make cities where people, places and nature are better connected. Together we can make cities greener, healthier, fairer, more harmonious places to live. What excites me is the amount of opportunities to volunteer and to get involved with the environment that are right here at home. We want to see every school taking lessons outdoors, championing the need to explore and get outside to play and have fun. We've been working with the team from Conception. We're having the largest outdoor celebration London's ever seen over the course of the next 10 days. More than 300 events taking place across our city. And the good thing about the project is more and more Londoners are getting to know about the joys of our city. I want to welcome you all to City Hall. At the heart of becoming a national park city is a shared ambition to make London greener, healthier and wilder and to ensure that all children have access to nature. London, the world's first national park city.